will be sitting on these benches watching shows. Please do not stand on the benches. Welcome back, everybody. Good to see all of you again. I thank everyone who's here now for your professionalism. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's absolutely right. The official time of the Texas Renaissance Festival is 8.32. Yes. Set your watches. 8.32. The attendance last Sunday was just under 14,000 people. We are expecting a big day. We're expecting a warm day. Pace yourself. Keep your fluids up. Keep your energy up. Tomorrow, uh, tonight at 2 o'clock, we have a time change. Right? Everybody gets to sleep in an extra hour tomorrow. Huzzah. Huzzah. Right. Payroll will be at 6 o'clock tomorrow night. Yay. We had a spider bite in the campground uh, last week. A poisonous spider, one of the two varieties of poisonous spiders in the United States. If you're camping out and you get out in the morning, shake your clothes out, tap your shoes out, and so forth. Uh, brown recluse spider. Uh, but Shake out your clothes, shake out your bed, shake out your booty. Um, focus, please. Focus, please. It was an incident last weekend involving a woman. You've heard the rumors. I don't feel that I'm going to, I, I want to address this. Uh, apparently, someone was raped here last Saturday at 10.30 in the morning. Jeez. Now, I say apparently it's under investigation, and my understanding is that the woman is not pressing charges, which makes uh, the investigation very difficult, and for me to get anything factual, uh, even more difficult. Um, it's a horrible, ugly thing. Uh, as you can imagine, I'm very upset that it happened. On the other hand, it is something that happens, and I don't think that suddenly we have to say that the Texas Renaissance Festival is a place where people get raped. This was a, a random incident, uh, but it still behooves everyone, and we've certainly covered this in the performance company workshops, that you have to be aware of your surroundings, you have to be aware of the people that you're making contact with, you have to be aware of where you are at certain times of the day around the festival. So be careful, take care of each other, support each other in terms of where, uh, what's happening to people around the festival that you're working with. I'm sorry, if, I'm sorry we don't address people here. If you have an issue, bring it to me and I'll address the company tomorrow. No. Uh, but my understanding is that this person was from out of town visiting someone who was working for someone and is not employed by the festival and does not live in this area and it's not uh, a case of us having a uh, mad rapist on the ground. But that doesn't mean that it's not something to be aware of and, and, and for us to be that much more aware for each other particularly when it gets close to dark. Now, as I say, this was 10.30 in the morning. So, um, be careful. Know where you are. It's going to be a really nice day, weather-wise, today and tomorrow. We're expecting 
big crowds both days. My challenge to all of you is fourth weekend, and this goes for everybody, people who've been doing it for years, people who've been doing it for four weeks, today is the day to challenge yourself. Try something new. Uh, take a risk in your show. Um, don't get too comfortable with what you're doing. Invent something. Put something new out there. <coughs> I think this mug is long overdue. This person's been out here working for years. The terrific character. He speaks his own language and he teaches people how to speak his language, which I think is a, a true measure of uh, a performer and also a performer who happens to speak his language. And the winner is Tiny. <laughs> Nice 